Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, the Ministry of Information and Communication Technology dressed the national sports teams in tracksuits with national colors bearing the logo of My Namibia, My Country, My Pride campaign. Not forgetting that today is International Day to end impunity for crimes against journalists, and we are delighted to have the Executive Director in the Ministry of, uh, of course, the Ministry of Information, Communication and Technology, Dr. Audrey Mate, to also touch base on that. Good evening, Doc. Thank you so much for making the time to talk to us. Thank you, John. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Now, give us a brief background of the national, uh, uh, national nationhood and national pride campaign in terms of its aims and objectives. Indeed. Thank you so much. Uh, the campaign was launched sometime uh, a couple of years back by then President Pohamba. Mm -hmm. Uh, to instill a level of patriotism among our people, uh, to promote or uh, to move away from the negative, you know, the alcohol, drug abuse, and all of that, mm -hmm. to ensure pride in our country. That was the purpose uh, of having that campaign. It has been running now for uh, a number of years, mm -hmm. but we have accelerated it now, again, because um, you still find a lot of uh, cases where people always make reference uh, tribalism is a reference point, right. racism is a reference point. So we thought we should dive back again and see is there something else that we are doing wrong that people still always take us back to uh, where we were before independence, which is not desired. That is why uh, we have redialed so that we remind ourselves again who we, we, who we are from the time of independence to where we ought to be going in the future. Very well. Now, so I can see now that you're also, of course, dressed in the national colors, which you, uh, of course, now has dressed the national teams uh, uh, in those colors. How important is it to dress, you know, the national sports teams in the national colors? You know, the, the, the part of the ANP campaign mm -hmm. is to learn about the national symbols. Right. National symbols include the uh, national anthem and the flag. Right. Um, we have popularizing it. You see at MICT events, we, we use less audio. Mm -hmm we sing ourselves yeah. so that people get to remember uh, the, the lyrics of, of, of the song. So how we got involved with the uh, Minister of Sport, one is that we need each other. We, we, are, we are public institutions, all of us. They have uh, warm bodies who can popularize uh, the brand of uh, my Namibia, my country, my pride. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we have the, the, the resources that are aimed at actually advancing that. That is why we say that uh, Instead of just giving random t-shirts on the streets, mm. how about if we dress the national teams, all national teams? I think it's 48 uh, 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 sports court. Yeah. So they will be dressing exactly the same. And part of what was happening in the past is that uh, uh, some of these young people were, were actually obliged to buy the tracksuits when they go on, on, on national duty. Mm -hmm. So we are saying, uh, let's not burden the parents. When they are representing the country, they are there to represent all of us. Yeah. So us as MICT will step in and close uh, that gap so that uh, everybody else looks the same. There are those who are able to buy tracksuit, others who are not able to buy tracksuit. And it doesn't, the optics don't look nice. Mm -hmm. That is why we decided uh, to do this. That is on one level. On the second level is that uh, we avoid having to have a, a, a multi-sport national team, oh, great. rugby, a netball, so that they don't wear federation colors mm -hmm. when they represent the color. Mm -hmm. They must represent uh, national colors. That is why we said uh, people must not really struggle uh, to, to the extent where now they must go and buy uh, Chula Chula tracksuit or mm. Katima Andras or mm. all of that mm. uh, as, as a national attire when they go to represent the country. They have to look at Namibian because they're representing the Namibian people. It's very important, that one. Now, tell us about, you know, the, the, the stakeholders who are on board for this initiative. Of course, you do know uh, about in the Namibia Sports Commission. Who else is on board for this initiative? Well, it's, 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 it's uh, through the uh, Minister of, of, of Sport, in the first instance, mm -hmm. that uh, we have been working together with the, with the uh, National sports, Namibia Sports Commission. Right. But there are many others, Minister of Justice, Minister of if Education, uh, with regards to uh, how schools get involved mm. in the, uh, my campaign, how uh, universities get, get involved, how the tourism sector gets involved. Uh, so this is what we've been doing, that these, the, in the process that there, there are discussions with the developing a national pledge of allegiance to the state, uh, not to an individual, but really to our country. So that this, we, we institutionalize this when uh, people are still young. Mm -hmm. So when they grow up, they grow up with pride knowing that they're Namibian. And that's really who they are. Okay. That's what identify them. If they speak uh, another language, 
it's, it's secondary for them to be in Namibia. Yeah. Of course, that then, of course, uh, addresses the practice of, you know, contributing to national unity and identity. Maybe I just expand a little bit on that before we move on to the, the, another topic here. You see, what s schools do very well mm -hmm. is to have national, to have uniforms. Yeah. It doesn't matter how poor or rich you are. Every child where uh, school uniform is one, they look the same. Yeah. They, they, it brings that level of equality. Because even if you are rich, I can't tell from where, uh, from how you are dressed. Mm -hmm. So that's why we say, let's wear our, uh, our national colors so that we represent our country. They, we can unidentify us by, by color. We may not know our name, mm. but the moment you look at the flag, you know I'm from Namibia. And of course, I'm the eagle, which represents the coat of arms. All right. Yeah. Now, if you look at, like I mentioned earlier, today is, of course, International Day to end impunity for crimes uh, against journalists. Now, can you give us your views on the significance of, uh, you know, this day and uh, to end into impunity against journalists and why Namibia uh, should be part of this? You know, the Deputy Minister ably represented our views, really, yes. to say that uh, uh, journalism is a public good. Mm -hmm to the extent that uh, we must guard it uh, jealously. Because other countries, they're looking to Namibia and say, they don't know what they have. And this is true. Mm -hmm. I just came back from uh, Burkina Faso uh, two weeks ago. Uh, when they talk about Namibia, mm -hmm. you think these are people who have been here and they were never harassed by the police. But these are the stories that they've, see, that they've read elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And then they genuinely uh, believe that Namibia is on the right track with regards to the protection of the rights of, uh, of, of journalists. Uh, where uh, for 33 years now, mm -hmm. no journalist was in prison for any reason. No journalist was killed for any reason, or at least for doing their job. Yeah. So uh, this has not happened in the country, and I think we should really, really uh, think about how we can uphold this. When you see uh, those that uh, will always find anything or something to write mm -hmm. negative, mm -hmm. but also should remember that uh, they are able to do so because the space has been created for them where they can essentially insult anyone right. and then they get away with it. All right. And of course, now if you look at the theme, the, the violence against journalists, the integrity of elections and the role of public uh, in leadership, how does you know, the lack of accountability uh, for crimes against journalists affect press freedom in your, in your words as uh, Deputy Di Executive Director? You, you see, if it doesn't apply to us. Mm -hmm. you know, the reason why we don't have unions in Namibia, we don't have MISA anymore, mm -hmm. because it died a national death because un un uh, journalists have no reason to unionize themselves, organize themselves because everything is granted. Right. If you, you look at the uh, war now in Gaza, where uh, journalists have been killed, mm -hmm. then you wonder why is there, uh, are there separate rules for those that are, are powerful and for those that are less powerful. Obviously, uh, I think we, the, the world must intervene mm. to ensure that it doesn't matter who commits those crimes, then sh they should be held accountable. Right. Uh, if those figures are correct, the number is apparently going to 55 of journalists who have been killed in the middle as the beginning of, 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 of this year. Yeah. That's a lot of uh, people to die purely for practicing your trade. Mm. Now, if, if you look at things back home now, what, what initiatives has the ministry put in place to, to make sure that these things or these harms against journalists don't actually take place? Uh, one is that uh, there, there is a right in the constitution mm -hmm. that uh, even if I want to, I can't take it away because our founding fathers and mothers, they decided it's going to be that way because of our, our past history. We're not going to repeat all the ills that took place before independence. That's why we have to safeguard the, the future by guaranteeing certain rights and freedoms that those uh, occurrences don't again happen in an independent Namibia. That's the first instance. Secondly, uh, there has been general respect of, of the right to practice the trade in Namibia. The government has uh, extremely been uh, restrained on, 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 on this aspect. Right. Even when we are unhappy about uh, what uh, you people write, we still respect the fact that you actually have the right. Mm. We, we express our displeasure. Sometimes you think that when you have opinions about this, government is, 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 is being sensitive to being, to being crit criticized. Mm. But the reality is that uh, we just have a different opinion. Mm. And most of, the tr most of the time, we get vindicated. And again, when we get vindicated, very little is written about it because, again, you have the, you have the final say in terms of what gets to be printed and what gets to be broadcast. Very much so. Now, if we, look, if we come back to the campaign, um, uh, does the ministry have any other initiatives in place to, of course, enhance national unity and patriotism among all Namibians? Yes. Uh, we have, so far with this program, uh, we, we visit all the regions but commas. All right. We are going to have... Uh, uh, an activation in, uh, in, in commerce at some point before the year is out. Uh, what we need to do now is to go to institutionalize again uh, in schools 
working in partnership with the other stakeholders. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, the curriculum of uh, National Youth Service ought to be uh, revised. Mm -hmm. This is a decision of cabinet already, maybe it's two years now, to include elements that arises from the values of NNP campaign, mm -hmm. so that when people graduate from, uh, from the schools, they go back home with a sense that uh, they understand why the country is there for them. They understand why they, 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 are, they are citizens in, in the country. They understand what their obligations are. Yes. Not just rights, because most of the time we demand what my rights are. But uh, we forget that we also have responsibilities towards the state. So you, you must obey the laws, you must pay taxes, among other things. Yeah, so it's a reciprocal uh, relationship mm -hmm. that we want to encourage. And uh, obviously, government has responsibilities to, to its citizens. And again, this is uh, many things uh, that are being done to the point where there is always, uh, yesterday there was a additional budget tabled by the Minister of Finance ready to provide for this, to explain what government is doing to, to assist its citizens. Very well. And I must say that the colors really look very, very nice, uh, well, well put together, I'm sure. But I'm sure there are, you know, probably part of the public members are out there trying to, you know, find out where they can get themselves this track suit uh, to, of course, represent the country or the teams as they, you know, participate in other countries or even here at home. Uh, what can you say to those? It's two things. Mm -hmm. You see, a national color cannot be given to anyone. All right. You have to be a member of a national team. It's like uh, uh, you, 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 are, you, are, you cannot wear a black belt unless you, you actively yeah. end it. Of course. So it works the same way with the national colors. Right. But what is being uh, discussed now is to develop a, a, a national T-shirt. For supporters. For, for supporters. Right. Whether it's rugby, netball, volleyball, that will be available to, to the rest of the people. And when can we expect that to maybe unfold? We should have, we should have uh, uh, some, dis some decisions made at least at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that uh, then this can again roll out uh, as early as possible next year so people can then have access, can be able to buy these t-shirts, then they can support our teams wherever they may be playing. Doctor, thank you so much for making the time to talk to us. Thank you, Joe. Right, we're talking to Dr. Audrey Mate, the Executive Director at the Ministry of Information and Communication Technology. We have more interviews coming your way. Don't go away.